You've applied for a job at Sandy's. After you listen to both sides of this record, you might change your mind. Do you know what it takes to operate a drive-in? All it takes is a hot plate, some hamburger, buns, potatoes, ice cream, and soft drinks. That's about it. Each year, thousands of new drive-ins open all over the country. Most of them fail. Sandy started with just one store back in 1958 in Peoria. That first store, still doing a record-breaking business, was the fulfillment of a dream and a laboratory in which an experiment in excellence was proved to be both possible and profitable. Let me tell you why. You see, all Sandys have are a hot plate, hamburger, buns, potatoes, ice cream, and soft drinks, and that's about it. But why are the Sandys you see all over the country acknowledged to be the best in the country? Well, you start with the store itself. It's beautifully and conveniently designed and clean. Where food is concerned, it must be clean, spotlessly, impeccably, constantly clean. An important part of your job with Sandys, if you're accepted, will be to do your part as a member of the team that keeps Sandys clean. When you see something that needs cleaning, you don't ever say, that's not my department or that's not my station. You immediately clean it. That way, Sandys stays clean and our customers will come back. At Sandys, the customer is king. And at Sandys, we treat every customer exactly the same. There are no different kinds of customers. There are just customers. We smile at everyone, and we say thank you and mean it to everyone. If you find this rubs you the wrong way, or if you can only smile when you feel like it, stop right here. Sandy's is not for you. At Sandy's, we smile and thank every human being that comes to the window for service. Because without those people coming up to the window, the little kids and the big kids, the fat ones and the skinny ones, the older people, the white and the colored people, Sandy's wouldn't exist and the people who work here wouldn't have jobs. Now we come to the people inside the store. Here are the people who have made Sandy's great. For instance, many of the young men who started to work at Sandy's now are managers of their own Sandy's drive-ins and are earning better than $10,000 a year. You are offered the same opportunity if you can become as outstanding as those men have become. But maybe you don't want to have a career in this business. Maybe this is just a temporary job for you. You might want to make your way in some other field. Fine. But remember this. The way you do your job here will set the stage for all that is to follow. By developing the right habits at Sandy's, you will carry those habits over into your schoolwork and or your ultimate career. Maybe you didn't know this, but it's estimated by the experts that only about 5% of the men in this country can be called successful. And they're not successful because they're the smartest men in the country, or the fastest, or the best looking, or because they had money or knew somebody. They're successful because they took the time to learn a few basic rules that will lead any person, any person at all, to success every single time. There's no big mystery to becoming successful in this country, and Sandy's wants to help you become successful. Sandy's wants to help you learn a few basic rules that will help you go from one success to another all the years of your life. Sandy's wants to help you get into the top 5% and stay there. That's where Sandy's is, and to work at Sandy's, you've got to be there too. And the rules for success you will learn at Sandy's will work for you no matter what you do in life. They'll help you get the education you want and go on to success in any career in life you choose. So now, let's get down to the rules. It might be a good idea to get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil and write them down. You'll be quizzed on them before you're accepted for employment at Sandy's. Incidentally, you can go to work most places without going to all this trouble. Their rules aren't as strict as Sandy's. Maybe that's why they're not as great. Now, turn this record over and let's get to our rules for success at Sandy's. Still with me? Fine. All right, here we go. We've already covered the fact that the main rule at Sandy's is how we treat people. We smile at everyone, and we say thank you to everyone. We give every person the fastest and the best service it's possible to give. Rule number two, honesty. Sounds simple, doesn't it? It isn't simple. It takes a big person to be honest in everything he does, but it's the honest people who make the grade in life. Now, most people don't know this, but most people aren't successful. They haven't learned the rules. Everything you see at Sandy's 
is so good, there will come a time when you'll be tempted to take some of it. Don't worry about the temptation, that comes to all of us. But those of us who have succeeded have done so because we've learned to resist temptation. For example, there'll probably be from 150 to $300 in your own cash register at Sandy's, a lot of it in small change. In the years Sandy's has been operating, the wrong sort of people who have worked for Sandy's have tried every trick in the book, and quite a few not even in the book, to steal money that belongs to Sandy's. They're no longer with Sandy's, and some of them are now being cared for by the government. Absolute honesty, a rule at Sandy's, a rule for success at anything. Rule number three, attitude. This word has been called by the experts the most important word in the language. This is because it's your attitude toward your world and everyone with whom you come in contact that will determine their attitudes toward you. When you work at Sandy's, you are Sandy's. You see, as far as the hundreds, perhaps thousands of people who see you at work are concerned, you are Sandy's. If your attitude is great, if it's cheerful, hardworking, efficient, that's the way they'll think of Sandy's. And that's the way we want them to think of Sandy's. All the time you're at Sandy's, maintain a positive, cheerful attitude. Again, if you find for any reason at all this rubs you the wrong way, if you're cynical, a wise guy, a know-it-all, stop right here. You'll fail at Sandy's and you'll fail at everything else you try until you change your attitude. You know, there's a time to work and a time to play or sleep or loaf or do nothing at all. The people who succeed in the world, that top 5% I mentioned earlier, know how to keep them separated. Sleep, loaf, play, do nothing at all, all you like. But when you're at Sandy's, work. That's fair enough, isn't it? We laugh a lot at Sandy's, we have a good time while we work, but when we're laughing and having a good time, we're also working. There's always something to do. If you find an idle moment, look for something to do and keep that happy attitude. If you don't feel well, see a doctor. Don't talk about your health to the people who work or trade at Sandy's. They can't help you. Make sure you come to work rested. You'd be amazed at the number of people who say they're tired when they first come to work. Now, they've got it backwards. You may be tired at quitting time, but don't come to work tired. Rule number four, cleanliness. Now, you wouldn't think I'd have to mention this one, not where food and customers and bright lights are concerned, but I do have to mention it. When you think of coming to work at Sandy's, think of a doctor entering an operating room. It may sound funny, but we're not kidding. When you put your hands on food, you're putting your hands inside people's mouths, and people have a habit of being fussy about things like that. Every day, before you come to work, just before, Make absolutely certain that you're as clean as it's possible for a human being to get. Bathe every day. Make sure your hands, face, and hair are clean. Make certain your nails are cut short, very short, and that they're clean. Every time you serve a customer, that customer looks at you, and especially your hands. Be impeccable. And finally, technical knowledge. This you'll have to learn on the job, from the manager and the other people, but learn it. Watch how our experienced people do the job and learn from them. Get all the technical knowledge you can. You will be evaluated every day on Sandy's ACT chart. That's A-C-T chart. And that stands for attitude, cleanliness, and technical knowledge. Well, that's about it for now. Sandy's is in competition with every other drive-in in the area. We've grown to our present size because we've been able to compete successfully, to day in and day out do a better job than our competition. But our present size is nothing at all to the size we're going to be. We'd like very much to have you grow with us, if you think you can qualify. There's a great future to be won with Sandy's, but whether you want to stay with Sandy's or not, you learn at Sandy's how to be successful and stay successful all the years of your life. Listen to this little record over and over again until you know it by heart. Then, if you'd like, come to work with us. This is how you can win with Sandy's. This is Earl Nightingale, and thank you.